So when I look at his resume and I look at the fact that he only had one fight in 2015 during the PBC Al Heyman takeover era, I'm thinking I'm really close to giving up on Amir Khan. Now, here's the situation. You got Danny Garcia, who defeated Amir Khan in 2012, taking on Robert Guerrero for the WBC title at 147 pounds. The WBC ordered that the winner must face um, Amir Khan by June of this year, 2016. Amir Khan is saying that he would rather take the winner of Danny Garcia versus uh, Robert Guerrero than to fight Carol Brook. Carol Brook has to fight his mandatory in Kevin Bizier in March, and he wants to fight Amir Khan in June. Amir Khan is saying that he's going to be returning in March, and the whole situation just doesn't make sense. 2016 has to be the year of Amir Khan. He's wasted so much of his career chasing around Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather's done bent him over a barrel, and Floyd Mayweather's gone now, retired. He's been chasing around Manny Pacquiao, most, most notably recently. And now Manny Pacquiao is fighting Timothy Bradley saying he's going to be going and retiring. Amir Khan in his last fight. Okay, this is who he fought since he lost to Danny Garcia in 2012. 2012, we're in 2016. Carlos Molina. No, not that Molina. Carlos Molina was a smaller fighter, 135-pound fighter, uh, moving up to 140 pounds at the time. I remember that. Remember, Julio Diaz was knocking him all around the ring. Julio Diaz could have easily, you know, likely got a win depending on the referee over Amir Khan. Then he fought Luis Colazo on the undercard of uh, Mayweather versus um, Maidana. Then Devin Alexander, you know, at the end, which he looked spectacular. And then he fought Chris Algieri in May of uh, 2015, where he didn't look so good. So I'm thinking with this, with, like, like with, with the recent wins, their wins... And they have good, solid names. Julio Diaz was pretty good at the time. Luis Colazo was okay. Devin Alexander was okay. He was, you know, this was before Devin Alexander. Well, this was after Devin Alexander lost to Sean Porter, but before Aaron Martinez. And Chris Algieri was coming off a of Pacquiao loss. So, you know, but I'm thinking, how has Amir Khan become so entitled? You know, in my opinion, he needs to, okay, if, if I had two paths, right? It's a tough situation because if he fights the winner of Danny Garcia versus Robert Guerrero and Danny Garcia wins, he can avenge his loss to Danny Garcia. That's a good path to go and be WBC, the recognized WBC champion of the world. When it comes to Kel Brook, that'll be a bigger money fight that they can put in where would they say Wembley or whatever the case may be. They could, That'll be a bigger money fight, in my opinion, in which he can be the number one guy at 147 in his homeland and also, you know, have a unification fight with Danny Garcia or Robert Guerrero, you know, in in the um, in the past. I mean, in, in the future. So it's just, you know, I just, you know, I like it, it's a part of me that doesn't even believe that he'll fight the winner of Robert Guerrero versus um versus Amir Khan. I mean, uh, versus um Danny Garcia. Also, I'm asking a question is. Why not fight a Sean Porter? Why hasn't he fought a Keith Thurman? And why, realistically, why did he only have one fight in 2015? Did he really think he was going to get Mayweather for that last fight? Did he really think he was going to get Pacquiao? I think, I think, I, I don't believe there's no excuse for him who wasn't injured to have a bad performance against Chris Algieri. He should have fought again in 2015. That was a Ruslan Provodnikov fight on the table. A fight that I was warming up to. A lot of fans were actually saying I wanted to see that. It was going to be on uh, Showtime. We've heard that that um we heard that um Ruslan Provodnikov was ready. His team had already signed off on everything. It's just that when it came to Amir Khan, Amir Khan didn't sign off. So I'm asking myself the question: Where does Amir Khan go in 2016? Because truth be told, I'm done with him. And and then who is he going to fight in March? Come on, is it going to be like a, a comeback warm up fight? Because at that point in time, he'll be 10 months off since his last fight against Chris Algieri. Like. It just, you know, none of it, like nothing about his career makes any sense to me. Like, like, will you accept Amir Khan fighting? Let's look at the 147 pound division. Amir Khan versus a Ray Robinson. Amir Khan versus an Alfonso Gomez. And Amir, look, these names, you know, like the big names that I would love to see him fight. I know he won't fight. So it's hard for me to talk about it 
It's hard for me to talk about like names that I would like to see him fight when I know, look, you know, why don't he call up, uh, why don't Amir Khan call up Diego Chavez? See what Diego Chavez is doing. I think that would be a good fight for him. You know, but it is what it is. I'm Teach Street Controversy. This is Teach Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. The WBC has ordered that Amir Khan gets the winner of Robert Guerrero versus Danny Garcia by June. So Amir Khan has to make the decision of whether he's going to fight one of those fighters or wait. Like, I'm thinking that he should have a fight in between. But is he going to wait until May, a whole, I mean, June, a whole 13 months, you know, after his last fight to fight, you know, for a championship? I think he should fight at the very beginning of March and then um, start negotiating to either fight Danny Garcia, Robert Guerrero or Kell Brook. In my opinion, I believe he should go for Kell Brook. I, I'm just saying I believe he should go for Kell Brook. I believe that would be I believe that would be a much more exciting fight and will be a bigger money fight. But at the same time, you can win that WBC title, and if Danny Garcia wins, avenge your loss. If Robert Guerrero wins, then I would definitely go for Kell Brook. But, you know, we'll just have to see. I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe.